Well, hello there. You know, I feel like talking about something. A little while ago, oh, ten minutes ago, I was looking on the YouTube and I found this uh, fellow that was had a song that was by uh, Country Joe and the Fish. It was the Vietnam song. Now, the version he had was a recorded version that looked like from Woodstock. But back in the Vietnam War, back in 68, 71, 72, whatever, it was popular and heard a lot um, in Vietnam and a lot of other places. Now, it was... Uh, <laughs> it was something that uh, well the whole idea was this whole thing this mess that Uncle Sam had got himself into was hanging over the head of all of these young fellas in the United States of America I got to thinking about that and then I remember seeing oh it's been a month or so ago some talk about bringing back the draft you know, that was when the guys went down and put their name in, but had to register at the draft, and then the, uh, they pull out so many names, and they were conscripted into the military. Well, they're talking about not having enough people to join the military, join the army and that now. Well, then I was reading, oh, it's been a few days ago, uh, somebody was writing an opinion piece about why don't the people, why don't the young people feel like fighting for the country anymore? Why don't they feel like fighting for the country anymore? Oh, they're not going down and signing up to go over into places. Afghanistan must have. <laughs> Why wouldn't they want to go to some place like Iran and fight? Or Syria and fight? We got people in Syria. We got people all over over there. We got people all around the world that are in the military and in places. Well, I got to thinking about it. You know, back in the days, they talk about uh, the English Sea Dogs and the Spanish Armada, and you come up through and you get... Uh, them American sailors fighting the British. You get up and going over and Thomas Jefferson sent uh, the Navy over to put down the pirates over it then. Tripoli, I guess that was. That's where the Marines get that from Halls Montezuma to the shores of Tripoli. Okay, now, this is really a whoop de doo now you want to think about corruption. Those guys back then in the Navy on them sailing ships and that were conscripted. They used to be Shanghai. That was where they'd go and they'd find some guy that'd come out of a bar somewhere, hit him on the head, pack him off and stick him on a ship that was going to go out to sea. Didn't know nothing about sailing. Uh, you know, now, in back there in that Civil War time, there's an amendment that was passed. The 13th Amendment. Now, there's another 13th Amendment that was supposed to have been around. And it was supposed to have been ratified, but it never got recorded as properly being ratified. So... This 13th Amendment said it. And what it said was, it abolished slavery. And there's no, except for some kind of punishment for crime, there's no, you ain't supposed to do that to people. Can't do it in any of the places the United States controls. Well, guess what? The draft has been around. It was around after the Civil War. It was around up into the Second World War. It was around in Korea. 
I don't remember when they did away with the draft, but the volunteer force was enough to support the military. But they put the draft aside. We don't need that now. It's all volunteer. Boy, look at this. We got a volunteer army, volunteer military. Now they can't get to volunteer where you look at the stuff that's going on in politics, the blue and the red and the, all that other good stuff with the godfathers and everything telling the Americans, you got to do this, we got to go, you got to spend your money on Ukraine so we can have this war with Russia and bleed Russia dry and all this other stuff. Well, the draft is nothing but a conscription system. It's bringing young people into slavery, even though it's for a designated period of time. But now with these endless non-war wars that we're into, there hasn't been a declared war in the United States since Pearl Harbor. You know? So there hasn't been a legal war. Now all these schools around, they've got this thing, uh, there's no bullying. Oh, bullying will not be permitted. You bully and that's it. Well, you got something, you know, Somebody ought to tell that Washington, D.C. back there and them fellers out of them blue and red gangs, there's no bullying. You bully, you're all out of here. We're going to call in and elect another 535 or whatever the heck it is now. I forget what it is guys to put in Congress and the Senate and we're going to put in a new president, we're going to consider cutting back all of the president's uh, cabinet for the simple fact it don't obey the law. It don't follow the law. It's corrupt. All these bureaucracies are telling people where to go to the bathroom, when to go to the bathroom, telling them they can't believe in being trances and they can't believe in doing well all all these wonderful religionists haven't got any business being in people's business with their league with their religious beliefs being made law by the corrupt government see we got all kinds of problems in this country don't blame it on just them guys that's doing all this stuff, them communists and them socialists and them fascists and all that, because look at what the religionists are doing. Uh, abortion. Why is that anything to do with the government? It's a religious idea. All these things, look at them. All of this stuff, even the Constitution of the United States is a religion that we as patriotic Americans join into and hold our hand up and vow with an oath to defend and uphold the Constitution of the United States. Just like we go and get baptized and say we're going to support and obey Jesus Christ. Or we're going to support and obey Allah and all these other things. See? Think about it. Well, I got that on my chest. <laughs> I feel better now. Think about it. Read. Study. Go see if you can find that Joe and the Fish Vietnam song somewhere. Listen to it. It's a crude thing. It's got a lot of them uh, FUs in it. <laughs> Stuff like that. 
but it was the truth of the day and it hasn't changed think about it think about the Constitution think about being a patriotic US citizen think what's wrong with it study read learn I'll be back you all have a good day and may God bless you all